Recently, we have been getting all this news and trailers on superhero movies, and it seems like people are getting tired of that shit. Since we started getting info on a Pez Dispenser cinematic universe, we all thought it was a dumbass idea. But now, I, I think I want to know more about that movie now. Okay, so Fant Four Stick. So Fant Four Stick follows the story of young scientist Reed Richards, who all his life has been working on theories and experiments to basically teleport living matter through a different dimension. He is soon picked up by the big leagues in science so they can help him fulfill his dream with this new team they have assembled. Turns out everything goes to plan, they go to this other dimension, and that is when the accident happens. And in that accident, Reed Richards and his colleagues obtain unique powers that transform their bodies and now have to learn to not only control their powers, but stop a former friend from a pending doom. Now, Fan forced to. I honestly rooted for. There's so much shit happening behind the scenes and during production that I wanted this to pull through to be at least a decent superhero film. I wanted this to be like Ant-Man where despite all the drama, despite all the bullshit that the director and the studio have, it ends up being a good superhero film. And upon this age in which superhero movies are popular since most are good and enjoyable, I rooted for Fantastic Four to bring that team to life. Yeah? Well, turns out I was wrong. Not only was it atrocious, but it has to be one of the worst superhero superhero movies I have ever seen. I am shocked on how abysmal Fantastic Four really is. Everything in this movie was straight up forced plot devices so we can once again see the Fantastic Four assemble in this so-called glorious fashion. And when you see what happens, and I hope you don't because this movie doesn't provide any justice in the superhero genre whatsoever, it shows how the Fantastic Four was originally a group of scientists, but it has to be some of the most illogic sense on how some of these characters get here. They need Johnny Storm because he's the best engineer they got, and they need Von Doom because he supposedly started this whole teleport experiment. And first off, realistically speaking, engineers can be replaced. They get replaced all the time and Von Doom, well, he can be the main villain. When you're witnessing the execution of how the story is falling into place, you notice how even some of the characters' comic book names are even being forced. For example, Doctor Doom says some stupid ass shit where he's like, oh, humans had their chance, they don't deserve to be on this earth, and Sue Storm's like, okay, Doctor Doom. Really? <laughs> That's the best the script has got? Speaking of the script, it's extremely noticeable how all the behind the scenes drama translates to screen as you see the actors try to work their way around a shitty script. Since you're already witnessing forced plot devices, you felt this unevenly paced movie that just led to scene after scene that basically resulted to underdeveloped characters. The movie just doesn't give you enough to really care about Reed Richards and his crew to accomplish what they're trying to accomplish or even when they get their superpowers. And when they do get their superpowers, nothing really happens and they don't really do much with it. Now being completely honest with you, when I go to a superhero movie, I want to see some kick-ass superhero action. Not any of this garbage in which you see them get their superpowers and they don't do anything with it. Most of the time, it's boring. Never in my right mind in this day of age where I would see shit like that happen again, but Fan Four Stick really cut my dick off in this one. And the villain, holy shit, he's gotta be the worst looking and acted villain I have ever seen in a superhero movie. If you thought Malekith from Thor The Dark World was bad, think again. If you thought the Rhino from The Amazing Spider-Man 2 was bad, well, Wait a second, they're both equally bad. But this Doctor Doom made the previous Doctor Doom look like the best Doctor Doom we have ever received. Not to mention the whole plot was a setup to that final battle with Doctor Doom in which it lasted five minutes tops. So wait, you're telling me I had to sit through almost an hour and a half of dumbass shit to get to an anticlimactic superhero battle? Bitch, please. And I'm not usually the one to complain about, oh, the editing, but Jesus. The editing was terrible. And I can tell this movie tried its best to cover it up through telling you how much time has passed, but each transition to get back on course was sloppy as shit. You can tell that these guys had to go through reshoots, and you're telling me that they decided to leave that mess within the movie? Now you're gonna make me watch the previous shitty Fantastic Four movies where they did Human Torch, Doctor Doom, and everything else better than this shitty new one. But hey, what do I know? I'm just a guy who sits in his room, talks about movies on YouTube, who thinks he can edit. Because this editing is a lot better than and that's all I have to say about So in the end, Fant 4 Stick had extremely forced plot devices with characters you don't really care about. The script, the dialogue, especially towards the end, was horrible. And nothing really happens in this movie. There was no superhero action scene that really stood out to me. I can just go on and on on how much I hated this movie, but I will say that Fantastic Shit Fuck is an absolute abomination to cinema. Wait, this was a Fantastic Four movie?
Heh, <laughs> sure, you're funny, Fox. So, have you seen Fantastic Four, whatever the fuck I just watched, and what did you think about it? Whatever your thoughts are, leave a comment below. And as always, there's a link for my Twitter and my Facebook below as well. Keep in contact with me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But in the meantime, I have to get going to stop Fox from making that Fantastic Four sequel. It should not happen. Because if I stop Fox from making that Fantastic Four sequel, that is more of a superhero action scene than this movie will ever have. And that's really sad to think about.